we say the sustainable is attainable. We not only we not only say it, we do it and we show it. I would say that possibly we might be the most energy efficient resort on the earth. I mean, we're certainly striving for that. We're striving for total self-sufficiency and, and people can see everything that's happening around here. We heat all the buildings geothermally from the earth. We make our electricity from the earth. We grow our food from the geothermal from the earth. God only made one mammal that would deliberately destroy his environment and then deny it. It's called man. So we show you how nature can work with you and you should work with it and not be in denial. When you walk around here, you're gonna see somebody cares about what's around you. We care about nature. Nature cares about us. It's a symbiotic relationship. I don't understand how we miss it. How oh, that big boy. Our sustainability is that we have to grow enough food to feed 85 employees, 300 guests a day, yeah, yes, that's dad's boy. He's the start. He's got, he's got four girlfriends that he's going to take care of, and we're going to build this into a herd. We have chickens year-round for eggs, and we have the only geothermally heated chicken coops, I think, in the world. Uh, we're getting about 85 eggs a day, and we'll take it up to 185 here pretty shortly. They lay year-round because we give them light in the winter. Just have inside their chicken coop, I have LEDs. And uh, we have some goats, and soon we'll be having our own goat herd big enough to have, to have our own milk and cottage cheese and, and ice cream, and it's all part of sustainability. We'll be making one barrel of fuel a day, 42 gallons a day of fuel from this, every day. We want to talk about sustainability. This is nature at its best. I didn't provide it. NASA's been here four times to get samples of this. And they want to know how I'm doing it. I said, I didn't do anything. The good Lord's done it all. I give him all the credit. I'm just smart enough to see it. So we run the hot water on the inside of the tube. On the outside is 134A refrigerant. It boils at 59 degrees. It turns to vapor. It goes up and spins this turbine at 15,000 RPM. The turbine spins a motor that is then turned into a generator. As it takes its first pressure drop, it starts to cool. Then we finish cooling it down with a condenser. It turns back to a liquid. We take the pump and we pump the liquid back into the evaporator. So if you think of a circle with all the arrows going the same direction, this is as close to perpetual motion as you're going to find. 